In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to bake a dynamic mesh procedural actor to a static mesh. The first way is in modeling mode. What you can do is select the dynamic mesh actor and run the convert tool. Leave the output type as static mesh and you can set this new asset location, which defaults to world relative to current folder. Click accept and the mesh will be the object will be converted to a static mesh asset. So then you can place in multiple instances by using the static mesh. So that's one way. Here's a second way. I'm going to go to the blueprint and I'm going to add a function bake to static mesh. I'm going to set that function to be call an editor here over on the right. I'm going to right click and say get dynamic mesh. That's going to be my get dynamic mesh function. It's going to get my current mesh and then I'm going to route that to copy to static mesh. Copy mesh to static mesh function. I'm going to add a variable called target mesh and I'm going to set it to be a static mesh. That's going to be a static mesh asset. I have to pick the right one. I'm going to make that public. Compile. Now I'm um, back in the, oh and I'm going to route that mesh in here. Actually what I'm going to do is do a, do a get and then right click and go convert to validated get. So that then will only run this code if uh, the mesh has been set to something. I'm going to route there. I'm going to write tar target mesh to, stu to static mesh asset. I'm going to compile that. Okay, now I've got my blueprint here. See over on the right in the settings. Or there they are. Target mesh. So I'm going to just drag that static mesh I used before in there and I'm going to set it as the target mesh also here, so we can see what happens. So then if I change the settings, I'm going to leave modeling mode, click on this gizmo here, make this skinnier, click bake to static mesh, and you see it updates the asset. So now I can use a dynamic mesh to uh, create and continuously update the static mesh. Okay, thanks for watching.